It's time once again for Fiend Friday! We're gone to the snow dogs! There's Miss Oakley. As of today, Oakley actually has her staples out from her surgery. She's doing pretty good. Yeah, so if you guys think Oakley looks a little wobbly, they gave her a medicine to relax her while she got her staples out. But she does have her staples out. All right, you guys, so if you're new to this channel, Fan Friday is the day where we answer questions submitted by you guys, the fans. All you have to do to submit a question is leave a comment down below using the hashtag AskGTTSD, and next week, we just might answer one of your questions. Let's get to the questions. Chloe wants to know, does the blower that you use on the girls blow cold air or warm air? It blows very slightly warm air. It's not super cold, but it's definitely not something I would consider hot. It's just very slightly warm. Andrea asked, why does Shelby's nose look like a pig nose? I don't know if you meant like a pig pig or because it's pink. Shelby, look at me. Shelby, 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 look at me. Shelby has a snow nose. That's why she has that little bit of pink on her nose. It happens in quite a few huskies actually. Uh, Shiloh had it too. They just lose like the pigmentation in their nose. It's called snow nose. Shelby, do you have a pig nose? <laughs> Emma's Pets wants to know if we just let our dogs dig. She writes, I have a struggle keep to keep mine from not digging. We do actually let ours dig. Um, I let them dig underneath the A-frame. We call it their sandbox. And that's mainly because Huskies really like to dig. They, all of them really do. And you're right, I could probably train them not to, but instead of training them not to, I just let them do it underneath the A-frame. I figured it was easier to give them a spot to dig and be dogs than it was to try to stop them from doing something that they like doing. It's just like howling and barking. I don't ever really try to stop my dogs from doing that because they're dogs. I mean, they howl and they bark and they talk. It's what they do. So I don't really ever try to stop them from doing that. Dark Pikachu wants to know what a blowout is. If you've seen, <laughs> Hoakley's like, I wanna go inside and lay down. Just a minute, honey. Um, if you've seen the videos where we do use the blower on the dogs, that is what I consider a blowout. It's when we take the blower and we blow all of the loose fur, all of their under fur that's loose, off of them. That's what we call blowing out the huskies. So it basically, it makes them really poofy and it kind of de de-sheds them, but since we use a blower to do it, we call it blowing them out or getting blown out. So a lot of you want to know why only Oakley has bloated and Shelby and Memphis and Shiloh never did. Um, bloat is something, it's not very common in Huskies in general, so I think that's a reason why we haven't had the issue with Shelby or Memphis. And with Oakley, she's much more deep chested and kind of more predisposed to bloat. And because she's bloated before, it also becomes more common for her. So I think part of the reason is that and the other big thing is Oakley is a very anxious dog, which is why we had to give her medication before we took her to the vet today. She's an overly anxious dog. She can stress out very easily. So we had to give her medicine and anxiety is something else that really can lead to a dog bloating. So that, I mean, that's pretty much why. We've just been very fortunate that it hasn't happened to any of the other dogs. And for those of you asking, yes, bloat can happen to absolutely any breed of dog. Come on, you wanna go inside and take a nap? Let's go inside and take a nap. <laughs> we got some mail, we got some mail. Let's open up the mail. The first package is from Jane, Bliss, and Oz, and they sent Oakley some get well soon treats. If you guys didn't see the awesome video we did where the dogs tried these cat treats that help support uh, Big Cat Rescue, I'll put a link up in the cards. I think Oakley deserves a treat today. What do you think? She's like, yeah, guys, I'm still super sleepy. All right, Oakley gets a fish treat. Memphis gets a fish treat. And Shelby gets a fish treat. Cause Oakley likes to share. And then we got this package, but I cannot read what that says. Sanabria family? And they sent a couple drawings made with scented crayons. Can you tell? Can you tell that's made with scented crayons? and some treats and wanted to know about the DNA test I had done on Oakley. The one I had done on Oakley was the wisdom panel, but the next one we're going to be doing is um, Embark, I think it is. I'll put, try to remember to put a link down below. And we got a package that says, Feel better soon, Oakley, from Holly Boo, Ariel, Chip, and Bree. 
So I'm not sure why, but when I opened the one package, my camera didn't record. But Oakley got this giant raccoon toy. I actually think that's the biggest raccoon toy you've ever gotten. <laughs> and these are the next two you're gonna see. But she got this giant raccoon toy. There's one for Memphis. <laughs> you got it? She got it. And there's one for Shelby. Got it, Shelby? <laughs> Thanks, you guys. There's a get well soon card for Oakley from Samantha. A get well soon card for Oakley from Hannah. And another card from Kathy. Thank you so much, Kathy. These drawings are from Amelia, and Amelia wants to know if we've always had huskies. Uh, yeah, those are that's the breed of dog Jamie and I have always had since we've been together. We both had different dogs as kids, but as adults, we've always had huskies. We got a postcard from Ben. Look at here's a drawing of some husky type Pokemon. If huskies were Pokemon, this is from Cinna. Cinna also wanted to know if we had any advice. Apparently, they're going to be having a baby soon and they're worried about their dog and how it's gonna be with the baby um i definitely would suggest working with a trainer if you think your dog is gonna have issues with a baby i we've never really had to introduce our dogs to babies so i don't really have a lot of personal advice for you but if anybody else does leave it down in the comments maybe um, but i would definitely contact a trainer and see if you can get some one-on-one -on -one help and we got a letter but it didn't have a name on it so i don't know who it's from this letter and drawing is from Emmy. This is from Mia. And so is this one of Shiloh. And we got a letter from Hazel. And another letter, but it doesn't have a name on it, so I'm not sure who it's from. Don't forget to put your names on the letters, you guys, so we know who they're from. All right, you guys, that's all we have for Fan Friday today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you didn't do so yet, you can go check out Monday's video where we talked a little bit more about Oakley and her bloat situation. Wednesday, we did a live show. Hopefully, you got to see that. If you missed it, make sure you can go back and rewatch it. But make sure to uh, check down in the video description and subscribe to all of our other social media sites so you'll be notified next time we do a live show. It was kind of an impromptu live show. We just did it to have a little bit of fun. Um, also, we are going to be going camping, so if you want to see camping videos, we will be uploading some of them here, but the majority of them will be going over at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs. Alright you guys, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience as always. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Say bye. Goodbye! Turn around and